Welcome to Dream Catcher. Today we are going to learn a very interesting chapter of biology that is chapter 10 microbes in human welfare. Okay, you might see your mother making curd. You might wonder how this curd is formed and you might see the seaweed and think yes, I should improve it. and how you you do you do you wanted to know how it happens and some of your friends are making brandy whiskey rum beer and all you really wanted to know what all are these things and your teacher have once said is responsible for all these things and you know and we are going to explore all these things together so welcome to chapter 10 microbes in human welfare first of all we should start everything in our home so we can start it by the learning microbes in household products you have seen your mother your father someone at your home making curd how it is formed it is by a small amount of curd small amount of curd is added to fresh milk as inoculum or a starter containing millions of lab lactobacillus which at a suitable temperature multiply and thus converting milk into curd so you know how it is prepared take some some amount of curd add to the fresh milk as inoculum or starter which contain millions of thousands of lactobacillus and which on a certain temperature multiply and result in a uh, conversion of milk into curd and you know it improves the nutritional quality by increasing b12 in our stomach too the lab plays very beneficial role in checking disease causing microbes he he you know he goes into our stomach and he check whether microbes are causing any problems to us and he will kill that one the next is um the dough which is used for making food such as dosha and idli is also fermented by bacteria fermented by bacteria oh so we are eating bacteria every day <laughs> oh, no it's not like that the puffed up appearance of the duff is due to the production of carbon dioxide gas similarly the duff which is used for making bread is fermented using baker's yeast saccharomyces cerevisiae another traditional drink of food also made by fermentation by the microbes have you heard about the word toddy yes toddy is a traditional drink for some part of southern india is made by fermenting sap from palms mm yeah the next comes is a very important point the large holes in swiss cheese are due to the production of large amount of carbon dioxide by a bacteria called propioni bacterium shermani swiss cheese caused by propioni bacteria shermani and the roqueforti cheese are um, formed by the back um, the holes in the roqueforti cheese are um, caused due to a specific fungi known as penicillium roqueforti that you don't want to learn but you have to learn because you are such a brilliant student and that's why you have to learn it the next point is microbes in industrial products okay the production of on an industrial scale requires growing microbes in very large vessels called fermenters fermenters then 
fermented beverages microbes especially yeast have been used from time immemorial for the bro- for the production of beverages like wine beer whiskey rand- brandy or rum for the purpose the same yeast saccharomyces so easy are used for bread making and commonly called brewers yeast saccharomyces cerevisiae used for bread making and commonly called brewers yeast is used for fermenting malted cereals and fruit juices to produce ethanol you know wine and beer are produced without distillation whereas whiskey brandy and rum are produced by distillation of the fermented broth simple brandy whiskey rum is used is distillated then fermented whereas wine and beer is directly fermented which do not undergo distillation okay and next comes an accidental discovery and most of the times um things happens accidentally and here i'm going to talk about antibiotics the discovery by chance you know you're very commonly you are very familiar with the word and penicillin penicillin it was a chance discovery you know one day the alexander fleming while working on staphylococci bacteria once observed once observed a wound growing in one of his one of his unwashed culture plates um, around which staphylococci could not grow he found that it was due to a chemical produced by the wound and he named it penicillin after the mound penicillin notatum 